hello friends welcome to my channel in this video i am going to show you how we can send email with php using smtp of amazon simple email service amazon simple email service commonly known as uh, aws simple email service and uh, we also going to use uh, php mailer it's a library so here you can see my uh, server it's the plex server and here i am going to create i have already created a directory but now i am going to create an index file in this index i will do all the codings so let's begin here you can see the index i am going to uh, create a simple HTML form here so that uh, when user fill that form and submit it our PHP will send the email so here is my simple HTML form I am not applying any styles it's uh, just a simple just to show you So it's a div and uh, you know this uh, editor is uh, not very good but uh, no problem I have to open and close each tag and quotation mark very carefully as uh, this do not do automatically as we can see in our other code editor so here i am creating the input fields name email subject and, uh, and this is a message so user can write their message here text area and then input type submit this will be a submit button and closing the form so whatever user fill this form input uh, their details uh, we are going to catch those inputs here so if is set post submit so i will echo uh, div to test uh, whether this form is working fine or not i am going to echo few things here to test and then I will write the original code. So echo post full name space and uh, email and the subject and the message. okay that's it so i am saving this it is saved now and uh, let me open this form so here is my form let me fill few inputs for testing okay so test and uh, this is message and submit so you can see the response here on top so this means uh, our form is working fine now this is the php mailer it's a php uh, it's a library for php to send an email so i am going to download this library you can see it is downloaded and uh, let me open this unzip this and then i will upload this uh, directory on my server so so this is my server i am going to drag and drop this and you can see each file is uploading so i am going to rename this 
uh, it is very long so php mail okay so renamed and now you can see here in there uh, i am going to copy this line from their documentation and uh, paste it here so let me remove this thing and so i pasted it <coughs> so i have uploaded php mailer directly on my root folder so the path should be accurate one okay so this is the main code which will send smtp email using php mailer so mail is smtp so is smtp so that uh, our php function will know that we are going to use uh, smtp and this debug is zero you can use uh, one or you can use uh, two zero means uh, we don't want any debugging right now you can change it if you want to debug and uh, mail okay uh, let me make few correction here okay it, it should be like this okay uh, mail host uh, this is the host for example if we are going to use a google host then it will be smtp.google.com but we are going to use uh, amazon so i am leaving this blank i will show you later and this is the port we are going to use uh, tls port and uh, this is uh, we need this secure so tls security and uh, smtp auth we need uh, authorization that means each time we send email username and password will be uh, used to create authorization and uh, we will mention our username here and a password here i will replace this uh, with original credentials i will show you from where we can get this uh, smtp credential from amazon simple email service set from is uh, from the email id we are going to send this email so this domain name as you can see i have used uh, inoffice.com this domain name must be a valid domain name and it must have been authorized in uh, amazon i mean aws server otherwise uh, if you do not authorize this domain then email will not work so this is the address to whom i am going to send this email so i will take the address from the user input i mean when the user input their email id that email will be the address so let me uh, create uh, let me capture the user input here i forgot to create these things uh, mail subject Okay, let me move this uh, on top. Okay, now I can use this uh, email variable here and uh, username here. So in add address, we need to mention email and name. And add cc double c. We can use this uh, for if we if we want to send email to someone else also. But here I am commenting out not required for now okay email subject and subject is uh, what the user have input in the form and message html it means uh, we want our message means our message may contain html tag so this will work and then alternative body also we can use in case if uh, html do not work then we can show this send this uh, line 
HTML doesn't support or HTML do not work. And you can see add attachment. We can add attachment, for example, the image.jpg. But now uh, not required. I am commenting it just to show you. I have added, added this line. And then mail send. This is the mail main uh, important line which will uh, send our email. So I will use a condition here. If this condition is met, then email. Then uh, we can echo something. For example, if uh, email is not sent, then I can echo uh, error error information here and if uh, email is going successfully then uh, message is sent successfully so this is a condition logic i have added i have saved this and now uh, okay one more thing uh, let me replace these things with uh, real credentials for this uh, uh, i have to go to amazon you can see here amazon light sale so here you can go to aws and uh, on this home page you can find this amazon simple web service so here uh, you can see a few things uh, verified identities these were the domains which we have verified we, we can send email only through this verified domains otherwise uh, this uh, from address will not work so be sure you verified your domain here and then in this dashboard you can see here smtp settings here okay and this is the smtp host name so i am going to copy this and from here you can uh, see your credentials i am not going to open this link as i have already uh, created credentials for privacy concern and uh, okay here i am going to replace this host name you can see and here i can mention my username uh, this is just a fake username I am typing here and this is the password and then save okay now let me refresh this page and uh, let me fill this form now you can see I am filling this form this is the email to which uh, I want to send this mail this is a okay so now submit yes and you can see message is sent successfully that means uh, it is sent successfully let me open my gmail now and i want to show you okay here you can see the gmail and here is the mail so see it's uh, working fine you can see that uh, the subject and the body is fine so this is all friends hope you, know, you learned something so, okay.